Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to a let's look at of Tori Bash and yes, watch how awesome the stuff in the background is. This is a free to play beat em up, well if you're British you'll call it a beat em up. If you're American or otherwise you might just say it's a brawler by Nabby Studios. It's on Steam and there will be a link to it on Steam in the description box below. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> However, you can just get it on PC in general, it doesn't need to be done through Steam if you want. So yeah, what is it? Well, you're pretty much seeing it in the background. It, it's it's that. It's it's massive fun. I've been enjoying myself with it thoroughly so far. But we're actually going to go into free play first so I can stand still for a little bit and talk about what the hell is going on. So, I am the guy in the red. And I'm against, uh, what is he called? He's called Ook and it's the guy in the blue. And in free play, he will just stand still. So this is a mode for you to basically practice the game and also kind of make cool looking moves. Now, I'm not very good at the game, so that's not going to happen. I have saved some replays of kind of fun stuff I've been doing with the game so far that I'll show you towards the end there. Um, usually there is an arena, and the idea is to maybe, well, either to kill your opponent or, or disqualify them by getting them to ring out, or by making their elbows or knees or face touch the floor. I'm not sure if all those apply in this mode. But you are responsible for the movements of every part of your body. Like, for example, I can hover over here. This is my chest. This is my right glute. This is my right knee, I can go to my hands here, and you can move everything. And the reason you can you can kind of see that ghost is that's what my body is going to do when I press space to end my turn. But obviously I don't want to just do that because I'm going to fall down onto my knees. So I want to start moving stuff. But first what I'm going to do is press C, which makes everything turn orange like him. That means I'm holding everything so I can brace myself for an impact. And then what am I going to do? Hmm. I'm going to try and recreate something that it taught me in the tutorial. And I can't really remember how to do that, so let's just experiment. I think I need to raise both hands. Yeah, I need to raise both hands. Or do I need to outstretch them, actually? Maybe I'm doing this wrong. No, let's go back to holding right shoulder, holding left shoulder, and... Ah, there we go. I want my pecs. So I want to extend. Mm, contract. Yes, contract. So now it's coming towards them. Right, and I want to contract this side as well. So now I'm going to do like an E-Honda or Fanta, oh wait no it was Tango wasn't it? Tango Slap. Tango. Tango? It's been a while since I've had that soft drink. Also because my hands are large that means I'm in grab mode. So if I touch any part of him I will latch on and not let go. But I can change it if I want it to the smaller hands which means I'm just kind of like slapping. But I don't want to do that. I actually want to grab him because I'm going to try and decapitate him with my knees <laughs> if, if possible I don't I don't remember how you put the order in which you do this but I also want to do um extending my legs so I do a jump at the same time I think so I should still grab him and then I also want to bring up my knees I think extending my knees not contracting my knees that's the one so if I contract my knees as well this looks right let's press spacebar and see what happens I'll just turn the camera like this Oh, I think I'm going to miss. I don't think I've... I think I should have let him grab the head first. Let me just press space again straight away. Oh, I've missed! Damn it, I missed! Right, well, let's go back to free play. I want to restart, right? So, C to hold. That in to grab him. That in to grab him. Let's just do that. One more. Did that actually latch on? Ah, right, if I stand still, I fall backwards. Okay, let's try this again. So, let's do... Since he isn't fighting back, I just realised there's no point in really... Can I lean forwards, maybe? Contracting abs, extending abs? There must be a step I'm forgetting, or maybe your lumbar. That's just making me lean. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 that is not what I want to do. How do I make him lean in again? That's just making me rotate. So that's me extending both, right? No. Oh yeah, I need to contract them. Right, so contract them. But extend, is that right? That could be right? Is that not basically what I was doing before? It doesn't look like I'm getting quite enough height. Maybe if I extend that. And extend that. Does that make a difference? It looks like I'm actually touching now. What if I do extend that foot, extend that foot. I think I'm going to miss again unfortunately. But I could just go for a flying nutsack kick. 
It might look fun. If nothing else, let's try that. Oh. Oh, I'm definitely not going to hit him, I think. If I, like, extend them. Contract? No, extend. Let's do extend. Oh, I think I might have latched on. So now I want to contract my knees. There we go. Oh, I let go. Why didn't he grab hold? Probably because I didn't hold. I was holding on to like his boob. I don't think that works. So let's spin and then let's do relax and then relax. I've I've no. I'm I'm now just doing whatever basically. <laughs> oh, if I can extend his leg, that is going to extend. It's going to smack him right in the face, right? He is falling backwards. So if I was to somehow control my landing. I might survive. <laughs> kicked him in the heart. <laughs> I could probably kick with this foot as well, right? Yep, get him in the thigh. There's a little bit of blood. Then I'm going to rotate because why not? And then land on my head and probably die. So we could probably just press space a lot of times now. <laughs> yes, so. Obviously not very good. I'm not sure if this is going to give the win to it. That timer up there is going down by a little bit every time I press spacebar. It gave it to me for some reason, and then you get a replay of what happened. As you can see, not very good, and you can save the replay. I did actually manage to get a lot of points. Well, no, that's not a lot of points. I got points. Uh, yeah, so, you know what, let's first of all load up some of my already saved uh, replays. Where is the replay? Fight school? No, free play. Where the hell is the... Fight school? Am I just looking past this? Setup? Ah, setup replays, right. There's a bunch of preset ones in the game. The ones that I made are the ones all just called save one, two, three. I can't re remember what happens in all of them, so let's load one and see what happened in it. Ooh, I punched him in the face. Yes, I remember this one. I actually lost because my knee and leg touched out of the ring, or my knee touched the ring and my foot landed out of it. But I thought this was quite fun. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. So let's also have a little look at my second replay, and then we'll have a look at some people who know what they're doing. This one I saved just because of how ridiculous it was. I have no idea what the hell's happening here. We're just having a nice hug. This is this is what you tell children sex is. That's what's happening here. And I think I won. What did the final scores get to? Yeah, I did win, right? Yeah. Oh, actually it was via disqualification. And the third replay. Oh <laughs> yeah, I was actually pretty proud of myself with this one, even though it was against the opponent that doesn't fight back, just because I got the jumping Shoryuken type thing. Like that, and then just... <laughs> I've had infinite fun watching just crap like this happen. It's so much fun. And it is free, it's entirely free to play. Now there is a microtransaction aspect to the game, we'll go into that before I finish here. But now let's look at some people who actually know what the hell they're doing. So let's pick a replay. I saw one that was actually called Shuriken, right? Never watched this one before, so let's take a look. <laughs> Holy crap! That is amazing! And he stood! He didn't even fall over! That is amazing! That is just unbelievable. I mean, it's against the opponent who doesn't doesn't fight back, but even then, well done, BNCA Daff. There is people who are just amazing at this game. Absolutely amazing. Let's get it from a back angle. And he even takes up a fighting pose when he lands as well. That is just amazing. And I've said that too many times, but look at that crap! Now let's pick another one. I know one that I like a lot that I watched before. I think it's called 50, yeah, 50 Shades of Red. Watch this. It's the fact he just keeps on kicking everything away. It's unbelievable. And look how badass he lands. Let's get it from this angle. That's a good angle. That is just astonishingly badass. Well done, Mr. Jingles 1. You are amazing. <laughs> right, one more replay and then I'll actually fight against the opponent, the, the AI opponent who fights back and maybe... Oh, I'm uploading so I probably can't play against people, but there is kind of like a tournament setting. The winner stays on, it throws someone else's in the room in. You can make private rooms so you can play with your friends. It is really accessible from that perspective. Right, let's pick a name that looks fun. Wushu Punch? Mm, 
French core killer divine. Hmm. It's turn archery save. Hmm. Mistakes I have forgotten. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the, the wushu punch. Oh! This was two players fighting each other. That was a hell of a win, actually. He just dipsy doodles underneath his punch and then kicks him in the heart. <laughs> it's the fact that these people know how to keep themselves up in the air so they don't instantly get disqualified from landing. That is just amazing. Right, anyway, we'll go into fight school. I'm not going to go through the tutorial, I'm just going to do the challenge against Ook. So he will fight back now. And he's actually talking to me in the chat. So we'll do everything tight. What are we going to do to this guy? Right, he's actually going to come for me, so I might try and do the actual the actual grab. So just to make sure we are on we're on grab. That is definitely grab. The big hand is grab. <clears throat> so let's see if I can grab hold of him first of all, and we'll press space. Oh, right, so he's turning, our hands have met, and they are actually now have held onto his hand. Right. So if I leave everything the way they are now, he's gonna come across his face like that. Not in that don't take that out of context. So what else I'm gonna do is turn right if possible. Turn right, and then also jump into the air. Hmm, why am I turning that way? And then I want to kick him in the soul, if possible. It looks like I'm going to try and throw him out the ring if I keep on doing this. Actually, that might work. Let me press space to see what happens. Well, actually, I want to get this arm out of the way, because if I grab his other hand, that would be bad. Let's try that. Oh, he's got me right in the naughty bits. I was not expecting him to kick. Can I turn that into a grab at the last second? I don't think I can get away from this now, but let's see if I can contract the leg. I'm going to do like a cartwheel flip. I'm okay with that. Oh, I can give as good as I get, Ook. Yeah, I don't take that out of context either. I know what that word means. Um, right, so it looks like I'm just going to do like a butterfly kick. I'm, I am a okay with that. Our hands have separated though. Is there any way I can like back myself into the curve? Relax my abs maybe? And kick my knee up? I want to get basically more momentum is what I need. That'll give me more momentum. Yes, let's do that. Get a better view here. Oh, but his leg is keeping me stuck down. No, he's going to knock me to the floor just on the virtue of that, I think. <laughs> That's a shame. Could I maybe turn myself? Like that. No, I'm going to land out the, the ring. God damn it. And points wise, he's got more than me anyway. So there we go. I got disqualified, but that was okay. <laughs> so I think if I press space we just go straight back into another round. I'm not going to save that replay, nothing much happened. Let's press space, right, we're back into it, we'll tighten everything. What will I try and do this time? What if I go straight into a jump? Right, let's do straight into a jump. That's both, no wait, extending, right? Extending. No, I don't want to do that. Well, it looks like I'm pelvic, I am pelvic thrusting. Don't want to do that either. So what about this? Hmm. Extend right peck. Raise that in the air and turn right. No, turn left. I've no idea what the hell is going to happen. I guess I kind of want to do the leg thing again. Maybe just one leg. If he's going to try and kick me, that would be a block. Oh, he is going for it. So I should block it this time. If I make this one come down. Then I'll kind of hit his hand out of the way. Right? Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> he is just launching me into the air with the power of that kick. I'm just going to do a cartwheel and then die. I don't think there's anything I can do. What can I do? I could twist my left. Left. I don't think I can. I think he's, he's just got me. He's murdered me. Hmm. We relax this. Extend. 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 Extending isn't the answer to everything, but it might be. Oh, I got him right in the face! Kind of. I'm now holding on to his face, actually. So if I was to raise this hand up, I could pull his head off. No, I don't want to raise the shoulder. Why was that doing the shoulder? I want to raise the arm, right? Come on, I think I can pull this guy's head off even if he's going to win. Hmm. Ah, 
I'm not sure. I can't, because the ghost is obscured, I can't quite tell what the best course of action is. Let's raise that knee to try and avoid his leg. Let's contract that as well. Keep on spinning, I guess. Left bend. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my leg is somewhere it shouldn't be, but he's closer to the ground than me, so I could win this. Maybe I go down to holding the right. No, relaxing. Let's try relaxing. Hey, relax guy. Relax this. Then punch him in the soul. Extend that. I can't even tell where I am at this point, because that's his fist going into my chest. Hold lumbar. Contract the abs. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Oh, I got to, Oh, I touched outside the ring, didn't I? Oh, my, by the smallest of margins, my toe touched outside the ring. Oh, I mean, he did a really good kick to open that fight. I wish I knew how to do such impact with my kicks. Oof. Alright, let's try that again. See, I'm already just getting carried away with playing the damn game. I'm having so much fun with this game. We'll contract that. Uh, that's not working. Extend. Contract. No, contract would be... No, I want to extend that and maybe contract this. How the hell is he doing that super-powered kick? Must have to extend that. Let's have that back to holding. Relax my abs a little bit. Turn to the left. And then I want this to extend, right? Why is it like both legs are going forwards? That is not right. See, this is, I am still finding in the intricate movements confusing. Like, I know what I want to try, but it's working out which part of the body. It looks like I'm just, like, vibrating my abs towards him now. That's not what I wanted to do. I was doing it backwards. Extending. But I could try and just kick him in there, but I don't think that's going to work. I will kind of bend backwards, though. I might... Let's try that. Oh, he's coming straight for me. Oh, he got me with a... I wish I knew how to do that kind of impact with a kick. I'm just going to let him have this one, I think. Yeah, he's kicked me right out of the field. Look at that. Yep, you win this one. That was a good kick. I really want to know how to do kicks that powerful. Look at that. Right, uh, oops, wrong button. Ah, you've not tightened everything. Maybe that has something to do with it, actually. So, hmm. Extend that. Extend that. See, why is that saying I'll fall over when I'm only extending one leg, I'm holding the other one? Hold that. Basically, hold my left side of my body. I want everything here to just be holding. What's that? I'm, I'm now doing like a straight up kick into his face. That's weird that it's that leg that's doing it, though. What did I change? Oh, contracting the hip seems to be the thing that did it, actually. So if I do the contracting the hip here, and change this side to holding... No, see, I don't understand that. <laughs> Am I going to be able to hit this guy in the face? I don't know. Let's raise this shoulder up. Let's raise and contract. Oh, he was going for a grab, but luckily I hit in just the right place. So let's go to lower. And then let's do extend, because I'm going to kick that hand out of the sky, apparently. Oh. Oh. He's hit under my arm, but I'm hitting into his forearm. I've grabbed hold of his arm. So now if I turn him to the, the right? No, the left. Oh! Okay, now I want to slam down with his leg. So if I contract my knee, I should just like batter his head into the floor, right? Yeah, that's the way it happened! Oh, you're gonna... I think he's about to touch the floor. 
He didn't, he didn't, he missed it by meters. Right, now I need to make sure I land on him then. Um, I've still got a hold of his arm too. Right, what if I extend that leg? What happens then? Got him! That was a very judo-esque throw I did on him there. He tried to grab me, I just smashed his head into the floor. <laughs> okay, I seem to be over-reliant on kicks. So we'll do one more where I will try and do a punch. Oh, it just tried to put me into a game, didn't it? No, 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 no. I'm uploading it. I'll lag too much. Challenge you. There we go. Right, let's tighten everything. Let's rotate right chest. Extend peck. I'm going to, like, pull in for a punch here. In fact, let's, um... Right, let's do that. And keep everything as is. Oh, right. So I've grabbed hold of his hand. Either that or he's, he's hit my wrist, actually. Okay. So now I want to turn to the left and then just slam forwards. That's just raising. So I want to extend this one, right? That's right. I'm going to come down on him like that, but I want it to be a punch, not a grab. Oh. I think the momentum is still going to carry me. Oh, yep, yep. Okay. Right, now what if I went for like a jump here with a... Uh, extend that and contract that and contract that. Oh, right, we're both in the air. This is where things get difficult and interesting. Who's going to land first? If I keep on spinning the way I'm spinning, I think I'm, I've am i got the advantage. Oh, no, he twisted me. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I think my arm is going to touch unless I raise it. Oh, I could touch the floor. So as you can see, I'm not very good at Tori Bash, but I find it amazing fun. So let's quickly take a look at the business model, and that's in the Tori shop. shop. So it loads. There we go. So while this just does random stuff in the background there, this is the kind of things you can buy. It's nothing that makes you better at the game. It's different colours, it's also, there's like different types of blood, like I know there's like an acid blood or something. You can get an aura, you can do custom faces as well. There's a lot of like cosmetic stuff, and that to me is free to play done right. You can make your fighter look however the hell you want, but it still comes down to just how good you are at the game. So what is this? Supernova Force, try it. What happens then? Oh, it's just like literally a colour. Okay, what about something fancier? Vortex Force? Okay, that's just a colour. I could have sworn there was more than... Oh, right, hang on. Force Colours. Relax Colours. Primary Gradients. Alright, yeah, there we go. So I'm, I'm looking like Leonardo at this point. What else have we got? Secondary gradients. We've got a nice deep red for our secondary, or maybe a bronze. And it's starting to look a bit weird. Oh, wait, cobra. There we go. Now I'm starting to look like some ninja freak. And torso colours. No, that's just the, the inner bits. Blood colours! Right, there we go. So I could have acid or orc blood, sphinx blood, superfly blood, amethyst blood. Again, that's all just cosmetic stuff. It's all just a, a nice little thing to support the game and also get something out of it. There's a lot of weird blood colours. Vampire blood? Okay. So you use, um... Tori Bash Cash, I think it's referred to, or point Oh, credits, sorry, it's credits. And you can buy those via the forum slash online store. It's kind of all mixed together. I'm not sure I like that personally, but it's how they do it. So you could buy 5,000 Tori Bash credits for £4. And there's a bunch of ranges, by the way, but I'm kind of just, I picked out three. So a middle range would be 28,000, which would give you, what, like, one of the special fancy bloods and one of the, a few of the cheaper ones. That would be £14.95, and then the most expensive one is 250,000 credits for £75.95. Again, it makes no difference other than how fancy your guy looks. So it's purely to support the game. That's the kind of free-to-play mechanic I can get behind. The fact you can make private rooms, the fact it's free-to-play and you can just invite your friends and have a muck around doing stuff like that is, is all by itself just great. But there's one more thing as well that I want to go over. There's mods. There's a bunch of pre-built mods. Now, I haven't tried these personally, but I've seen a few being used by other players. Some of them are broken, but I know for a fact one of them is working. Where is it? It's um, There's one where you get like swords and stuff. Lightsaber mod. I've never tried that one, so I'm, I'm cautious about it not working. Um, where is it? I, mean, I didn't actually realise there was as many as there apparently is. Let's try the lightsaber one. If it crashes the game, then I guess I'll just have to end prematurely. So let's go back up a little bit. Where was it? Um, 
I saw it there. Lightsaber mod TBM. Is that lightsabers? Okay, well, let's see how they react then. I'm just kind of going to press anything, really. I kind of want to throw my chest at him rather than extending, raising, contracting. I think that'll smack him. Let's just jump into the air with this. Um, yeah. Oh, I think there has been a, a leg dismemberment. Bring the hammer down. Smash his face in. Oh. Oh, my leg has actually came off. Yeah, so this is functioning the same as the sword mod I was trying to... But it's not as good, to be honest. It's like you're using rapiers in the one I'd seen. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, so I've lost my leg, so I think I've lost this fight. <laughs> oh, he just chopped my torso in half with the touch. Right, let's try something else. Um, Very quickly, if I just... What's it called? It's Swords Mod something. Let's try check that. Oh, why did it scroll back up? Uh, da, 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 da. Swords versus Shields. Sword Fighting. Spin Sword. Scroll down. If I can't find it, I'll just have to. I'll pick either something at random or just stop there, I think. Sword and she sword fight, sword fighting, sword flip, sword flipping. Because you can also mess with the gravity as well, which is very, very funny. Sh sword jousting. Oh, this isn't quite what I was expecting. Ah, but hang on a minute, he's not going to react to me, right? So he's just going to fall, is he? Oh, we are going to fly towards each other. Well, that's the easiest one I've ever had. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> let's try that again, except this time I'll do something. So let's do like a spin. And then uh, extend. I think I might accidentally chop my own face off if I do this. Oh, I do a corkscrew. Right, this is going to be amazing, even if it doesn't work. Oh, you're in a heap of trouble, <laughs> Mr. AI. Okay. Oh, he won. Never mind. <laughs> One more try. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to try and do a flip. So, extend, extend, contract, and then I want to do my pecs. Contracting, contracting. There. Oh, and then extend. Extend. Extend one. Extend to twist and then lower. Oh, there goes my head. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've shown off all the aspects of Tori Bash that I want to show off. I hope you'll agree that this is a lot of fun and it's entirely bloody free. Get it on Steam or just get it on PC. It is hilarious amounts of fun. And let's just end on one more replay by people who are far better at this. Uh, let's do... The Headless Hurman. <laughs> he pulled his own head off and still won the fight. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> That is incredible! <laughs> it's the fact he picks up his hand and puts it on his head. <laughs> Farm Monsieur, you are amazing. That is by far the best replay I've ever seen. My god. Ah, oh, I guess a lot of these, by the way, have dismemberment set really high, so it's much easier to dismember. That's another saying, but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Tory Bash. Highly recommended and entirely free. There will be a link to the Steam Store page for it in the description box below. My name has been Flick. This has been Tori Bash. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more gaming content. And ta-ta for now.